to introduce you guys to an idea in the website development process that I think is going to seriously 10x your income. So I'm going to make an assumption here that you are someone who designs, develops a website. And the sad matter is, this is actually so low down in the decision tree of building a website because it started somewhere, uh, probably in some sort of boardroom, some sort of meeting, and they deduced that they need a website design. And then they come to you to say, hey, we need our website design. They'll trust you with your design experience and what looks good and what certain things do. But ultimately, you are at the mercy of the decisions that have already been made. And that's where I think you can begin to start earning more with something we call digital strategy. So what is digital strategy? Digital strategy is the process of understanding the business's operational goals and applying a strategic recommendation that align with those goals. In the context of websites, this could be design, it could be development. You oftentimes go into it not really knowing what the solution will be. You don't want to be that person who's kind of selling something that doesn't need to be sold. So when I go into a sales call, that call is simply, the first call is simply about commercials. If I determine that there's enough budget, time and all the rest of it to, to fulfill this project or at least further the discussion, that's when we'll start talking about the next technical step. Now, there's one crucial thing that I'm listening out for then to determine if strategic thinking is necessary. And that is, have they come to me with a problem statement or a list of features and requirements? If they say, we're getting loads of leads, but none of them are converting. We just don't know what to do. Or if they say that there's people are getting stuck in this user flow and we just don't know what to do. It's that ambiguity. And that's when a strategic engagement needs to start. And I think, okay, we need to do a bit of strategy to find some stuff out. If they come at me with a list of requirements, hey, we need a calendar picker for booking appointments, or we need to do this bit in the header, we need to fix a few broken links. If it's that specific, I wouldn't even entertain the idea of strategic thinking. I think it's wise to talk about the three levels of strategic thinking that my company do, and that is digital strategy, website strategy, and scoping. I think you guys should adopt scoping at the very, very least, but we'll get into that. If you want to hear more about what my company do in these workshops, then there's going to be an extended version of this video over on my Patreon for my subscribers. So I'll leave links down in the description and I'll see you over there. Digital strategy is very, very broad, right? You talk the word digital in itself, what does that mean? That could mean an app, that can mean a website, that could mean advertisement. Anything digital will try and figure out a solution for, right? And and often companies come to, to us when they really just don't know, they've got a problem in their business, but they want to do it online somewhere, right? That is where digital strategy comes into play. It's so broad and it's and and we we run our workshops and then we kind of figure out all the different digital channels that they could potentially utilize to fulfill their business challenge. I won't go into any more because we're talking websites here, right? If a company knows that they need us to work on their website, they need to do something with their website or an app, we'll do that as well, but like something with their website, that's when we'll run the website strategy. It's like, okay, we've got thousands of visitors, but we haven't had a single lead come in. We, we don't know what's going on. Is there a bug? Is there whatever? Digital strategy and website strategy are the same process. They're the same workshop, ultimately, with different weights placed on the different sections. But it's the, then the proposal at the end of those that, that it comes down to. And I'll just touch on this real quick before we get into the scoping workshop. What comes out of those sessions is a strategic recommendation and they could ditch it, right? They could say, actually, we don't, we don't agree with this and go somewhere else. But the point is I've used my experience to, to uh, determine what I think is their route to success here. Ultimately, we sell that as a separate package that's pre-bought. Pre they can choose to engage with an Indian offshore company to actually fulfill that route to success. And it's purely a document, right? Boring, boring document that has strategic recommendations, why I've come to that conclusion. And, and then we lay out our kind of timeline, pricing and all that sort of lot, but it's, but it's, it's strictly just a document. So now we get to uh, the sort of scoping, understanding um, workshop meeting or, or whatever that I think can, can really start to help you develop that, that business vernacular, that business understanding that fuels your design process. 
And ultimately, you will want to run your own, how you go about this. Oftentimes, people use uh, work, uh, workshops. Some people use questionnaires. I prefer the workshop because you get that two way. You can sort of dig in and find little nuggets of gold when you start to ask about like why you want this, what the problem is and stuff like that. You, you, you're taking their list of features that they've come to you with and you're just interrogating, okay, why do you want that? header design why do you need this designed like that you're just getting to the bottom of all these little things that again start to give you context and then you can say okay well you you want this certain feature design developed because of this problem but what i've seen in my experience is actually it comes from this and you can start to see how you're able to leverage the business challenge they faced how they've come to that conclusion because oftentimes like nine times out of ten clients really don't really know what they're talking about for lack of a better word so you're then able to manipulate that conversation and start to suggest new things that you think will help solve their problem this gives you so much more leverage to do more with um, your experience and start to charge for that strategic thinking that is worth so much more than just a, a rebrand or a reskin of a, of a website it's because it's going to actually lead to tangible financial results for the company now if you want to stay in this world of design and, and you just you're happy being told uh, like what to do what to design or that's fair enough but as I say, you're so low down in the decision tree, the, your value is never going to be as much as someone who is solving business challenges. So I think this video is, is long enough. But at the very least, if you want to start earning more as a designer, you need to start joining the dots when it comes to business decisions and why certain things need to be done. Let me know in the comments if you want to hear more about this sort of thing. Subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, happy no coding.